Welcome to our channel today. We're diving into a topic that is both personal and impactful. What happens when you masturbate daily insights from a female doctor? This discussion isn't about judgment or stigma. It's about understanding the science psychology and potential effects of this behavior. So whether you're curious about the physical, mental or emotional aspects, stay tuned. This video might provide you with the clarity and knowledge you've been seeking. Section 1. The Basics of Masturbation First, let's start with the basics. Masturbation is a natural activity that most people engage in at some point in their lives. It's often considered a healthy way to explore one's body, release tension and even improve mood. Both men and women experience this, but the frequency and reasons can vary greatly among individuals. However, when masturbation becomes a daily habit or even more frequent, it raises the question, is it still healthy? Or could it lead to unintended consequences to answer this? We need to explore the potential physical, emotional and psychological impacts. Section 2. Physical Impacts of Frequent Masturbation For the majority, Masturbation has no significant any negative physical health effects. It's a safe activity that doesn't carry the risks associated with sexual intercourse, like sexually transmitted infections. Additionally, it can improve sleep, reduce stress, and even enhance sexual function by promoting blood flow and maintaining a healthy pelvic floor. But what happens when it's excessive? Experts, including female doctors, have noted that over-masturbation might occasionally lead to physical discomfort. For instance, skin irritation, repeated friction without proper lubrication, can cause soreness or irritation, desensitization over time, excessive stimulation may reduce sensitivity, potentially making other forms of sexual activity less pleasurable, fatigue or energy drain, while orgasm releases feel-good hormones. Excessive ejaculation in men might temporarily lower energy levels despite these potential issues. It's crucial to note that the body is resilient. These effects are typically temporary and reversible when habits are moderated. Section 3. The Psychological Dimension the psychological effects of daily masturbation can vary depending on the individual's mindset and circumstances. Here's where, where it becomes more nuanced. Stress relief versus dependency masturbation can act as a stress reliever, helping people unwind after a long day. However, relying on it as a sole coping mechanism for stress, anxiety or boredom might create an unhealthy cycle of dependency impact on self-esteem. Some individuals feel shame or guilt due to societal taboos, which can negatively affect their self-esteem. Overcoming these feelings often requires rethinking cultural norms and understanding the naturalness of the ACT correlation with pornography. As highlighted by medical professionals, excessive use of pornography alongside masturbation can lead to issues like unrealistic expectations of intimacy, reduced satisfaction in real-life relationships, and even addictive behaviors. This is especially true for individuals who find themselves isolating or avoiding social connections in favor of solitary activities. Section 4. Social and Relational Consequences Daily masturbation might not harm relationships directly, but in some cases it could signal underlying issues that deserve attention. Isolation, if someone prioritizes masturbation over spending time with loved ones, it might lead to feelings of loneliness and disconnection. Reduced intimacy in relationships. Excessive masturbation can sometimes replace partner intimacy, creating distance or dissatisfaction. Communication breakdowns, Discussing sexual needs and habits can feel awkward, but is crucial for maintaining a healthy dynamic in romantic relationships for IND individuals facing these challenges seeking guidance, whether from a therapist, counselor or medical professional can be transformative. Section 5. Sexual Health and Addiction 
a particularly pressing concern raised by female doctors and sex therapists is the potential link between excessive masturbation and sex addiction. While the term addiction is often used casually, true, sex addiction is a diagnosable condition characterized by persistent, uncontrollable urges engaging in behaviors despite negative consequences, significant interference with daily life work or relationships, it's important to differentiate between a healthy libido and compulsive behavior. Recognizing when habits cross the line is key to addressing them effectively. Section 6. When to seek help. How do you know when masturbation is becoming a problem? Here are some red flags to watch for. It interferes with daily responsibilities. Work or academics, you prioritize it over meaningful relationships or activities you feel unable to control the frequency despite a desire to reduce it. It's associated with feelings of shame, guilt or distress. If any of these resonate, seeking professional help can provide support and tools for change. Remember there's no shame in addressing these issues. Doing so can lead to a healthier and more balanced life section. As a female doctor's perspective, Many medical professionals agree that masturbation in moderation is not inherently harmful. As one female doctor pointed out, problems arise not from the act itself, but from the context in which it occurs. For example, healthy habits. Masturbation as a part of self-care is typically fine. It's when it becomes compulsive or linked with harmful behaviors like excessive pornography use that issues may arise aging and frequency concerns about the effects of daily masturbation on long-term health, such as reduced vitality or life expectancy, are largely unfounded. The body adapts and the occasional break can restore energy and sensitivity. Section 8. Finding Balance and Healthy Habits So what's the takeaway, like many aspects of life? The key lies in balance. Here are some tips for maintaining a healthy relationship with masturbation. Set limits, be mindful of frequency, and ensure it doesn't interfere with daily life. Explore alternatives, engage in hobbies, physical activities or mindfulness practices to manage stress and boredom. Focus on real connections, prioritize nurturing relationships and building intimacy with others. Educate yourself. Learn about sexual health and discuss concerns with trusted professionals. Conclusion masturbation is a natural part of human sexuality. But like any habit, it's essential to keep it in check by understanding its effects. Both positive and potentially negative, you can make informed decisions about your sexual health. Thank you for watching Living Life Wisdom. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more empowering discussions. See you in the next video.